Hi, I'm John from Chatomize and in this video I will explain how you can create a Facebook Messenger chatbot using ManyChat. And in this video I will show you how you can set up a Facebook Messenger funnel that you probably already use in your current business. What we will do is we will give a free ebook through our Facebook Messenger chatbot and the only thing we will ask for in return is the email address of the user. And when the user gives their email address, we will send an automatic follow-up to ask if they want to sign up for our paid course. Also, I will show you how you can immediately send the captured email address to email marketing software you already use, such as MailChimp and ActiveCampaign. And at the end, I will also show you how you can keep track of the number of conversions. So it's pretty much a funnel a lot of businesses are already using in email marketing, but then we will set it up in Facebook Messenger. And the benefit of Facebook Messenger is that the open rates and the click rates are way higher than other channels such as email. So let's dive in. The first thing that you need to do is go to manychat.com and click on the get started free. Then you can just click on sign up with your Facebook profile and you can add the Facebook page you want to connect with ManyChat. But because I'm already logged into ManyChat, I don't need to do that. So now I am in my ManyChat account and then we'll go to automations and then we will click on new flow and we will call this flow ebook flow. So this is the flow we are going to create to ask the user for their email address and then give the ebook in return. So Let's go to the first message block. We will set the content type to other. It's really important that you do this because if you don't do this, you have a risk that your Facebook page will get blocked by Facebook and that's not something that you want. So then we will remove this first element and we will use the user input element. And with the user input element, we can ask a question to the user and save the answer in our custom field. So we can say, thank you for your interest in our ebook. And then we can add the first name of the user. So because we're using Facebook Messenger, we already know some information of the user, such as their first name and their last name. So we can just click on this button, search for first, and then we can click on first name. So we'll say thank you for your interest in our ebook. To what email can we send it to? Then here on the right, we can set the reply type to email. So then ManyChat knows that we are expecting an email as the user input. So when the user, for example, doesn't give their email, it will say, oh, this doesn't look like an email. Please could you fill in your email? Then we can save this reply to a field. And we can use a system field and we can use a custom field. If you are going to use ManyChat to send your emails, you need to have the save email to system field. But because I'm going to use active campaign in this tutorial, we need to create a custom field. So we'll just disable this and then we can type in email. And because I haven't created the email custom field yet, we need to create it. So click on new user field email, set the type to text and click on create. Then we need to click on email again. And if you scroll down, we need to delete the skip button. If you don't delete this, people can skip this question and that is not something that we want. So you need to delete this text and that's pretty much it. So what this will do is it will say to the user, thank you for your interest in our ebook, to what email can we send it? And then the user needs to fill in their email and then the flow will go further. So then we can add the next message and we will set the content type to other and then we'll say, Thank you for leaving your information. Click on the button below to get your ebook. Then we can also add a nice icon. So we'll use this finger icon and then we can add a button. So we can add a button, also add an icon, get the ebook. And then we will use the open website and then here you can fill in the website address of your ebook. So for example, this could be chatomize.com slash ebook. And this is the place where your ebook is stored on the internet. 
So when you've created this, we can click on publish and we can preview this flow. So it says, thank you for your interest in our ebook, Joran. To what email can we send it to? And because we're using Facebook Messenger and ManyChat knows that we want to get an email, Facebook automatically shows the email that is associated with your Facebook profile. So users don't even need to fill in their email. They can type it in if they want it, but they also can just click on this, which will give a way higher open rate if you compare it, for example, to your website. So you can click on this and then it will say, thank you for leaving your information. Click on the button below to get your ebook. And when you click on this, it will go to your website. So that is working. But how can we automatically add that email address to our email marketing software, such as MailChimp and ActiveCampaign? Then we need to go to settings and then scroll down until you see integrations. And here you can see that you have a number of integrations such as Google Sheets and Shopify and Clavio, but you also have ActiveCampaign and we also have MailChimp. And as an example, I will show you how you can connect it to ActiveCampaign, but it is similar for MailChimp and it's similar for HubSpot. It is just really simple. So here is my ActiveCampaign account. And then if I go to settings and go to developer, then here I have my API access URL and my API key. So I just copy this, fill it in here, and also copy my API key and fill it in here, and then I connect my active campaign account. So now you see that my active campaign account is connected. Be aware that you don't share this active campaign API key with anyone else besides yourself because then they have access to your active campaign account and that's not something that you want. But now we integrated active campaign with ManyChat, but we're not there yet. We still need to activate it in our flow. So if we go back to automation, click on our ebook flow, and then click on edit flow, we can add an action. And this is called an action on reply. So we just need to drag this and click on actions. Add an action and then scroll down until you see active campaign actions. And what this will do is when the user gives their email address, we will send that email address to active campaign. This action will trigger that. So we click on select action, add contact, and then we can enter the field name, which will be the email address in ManyChat. So that will be email. And we can select the active campaign list, which will be master contact list. Also, if you have specific active campaign fields that you also have in ManyChat, then you can also sync those. So for example, if we have a company name, we can sync that with company. Then we can click on save and we will hit publish. So now, Every time someone leaves their email address in our Facebook Messenger chatbot, it will automatically be sent to ActiveCampaign. Another thing that we can do is track how many people signed up for our ebook within ManyChat. So we can click on Action and then click on Log Conversion Event. And we'll click on this and we haven't made a conversion event yet. So we'll create a new one and we will set it up to Signed Up for ebook and then click on conversion event and click on create and then we'll hit publish what this means is that every time someone leaves their email address the conversion event signed up for ebook is triggered and this will keep track of the amount of conversions you get with your ManyChat chatbot flow then there's still one thing left that we need to do and that is to add a ref URL what is a ref URL? A ref URL is a link that you can share with anyone. And when they click on that link or go to that link, they will automatically go to your chatbot in Facebook Messenger. So how can we set this up? Just go to the starting step and click on add trigger. And you can just search for URL. And then here you see the messenger ref URL. And you automatically see the URL. So we can just copy this URL to the clipboard and then that should be working. So if we go and fill in this URL, we automatically go to the right flow in Facebook Messenger. Thank you for your interest in our ebook. To what email can we send it? 
to this email. Thank you for leaving your information. Click on the button below to get your ebook. And that is working. And then if we go back to Active Campaign, go to Context, and then we'll search for my email address, you will see that my email address is automatically added to Active Campaign. So we created a correct integration between ManyChat and Active Campaign. And then also, if we go to ManyChat and we go to Home and go to Metrics and then scroll down, and click on sign up for ebook, you will see that on the 24th of May, which is today, we had one conversion event for signed up for ebook. So you can also track the number of signups you got through your Messenger chatbot. There's just one thing we need to add to this flow. After they sign up for our ebook, we want the chatbot to wait for a few hours and then ask if they want to become part of our paid course. So let's build this. If we go back to automation, go to our ebook flow, and then edit it, we can set up a smart delay. So what the smart delay will do is that it will wait for a few hours and then continue with the rest of the flow. So as a next step, we will select the smart delay and we will set it to four hours. Then we will add a next message, select the content type to other, and then say first name. We also have a really good course about, and then you can insert what your course is about. For example, it's about creating chatbots. So we have a really good course about creating chatbots. We also have a limited offer, which is only available today. Click on the button below to get it. And again, this is just a really simple example, but this is how you can promote your paid course in your Facebook chatbot after they've signed up for your ebook. So you can add the button, set it to your website, and I will just set it to chatomize.com, but you can set it to a specific landing page for your paid course. And then you click on done and click on publish. Well, I want to show you that this is working. So I will set the four hours to 30 seconds to show you that it is working. Click on publish and then preview the flow. So to what email can we send it to? To this email. Then we'll say thank you for leaving your information. Click on the button below and then we need to wait for 30 seconds but this could be two hours or 10 minutes or four hours and then the chatbot will automatically send a message with we also have a paid course click on the button below to get access to that paid course. And then you will see that the chatbot sends a message about this paid course. And that's how you can create your own Facebook Messenger chatbot using ManyChat. If you have any questions on how you can create Facebook Messenger chatbots with ManyChat, please leave a comment below and I will reply as soon as possible. If you want more videos on how you can use chatbots in your marketing, please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't done this yet, also click the like button below.